And at Clanhaston, we have Robbie, who is our little copper spaniel, who is uh, preparing to go for a walk. Oh, little buddy. Come on, there, little buddy. Come on, Robbie. Come on. Come on, Robbie. You don't have to go, eh? Good boy, Robbie. Oh, it's a good boy. Come on now, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Robbie, let's go. Let's go. We can't stay here all night. Come on, Robbie. Oh, the brakes are on, the brakes are on. This is the only way we could get him going. Yeah, he won't go any other way. Afraid. We'll try again, Robbie. Okay, little fella. No, no, he's not having it. He's having none of it. Fear not, Robbie. Look up in my arms again. I can't get any good of him at all. Isn't he a little rotter? Now we're going up this hill towards the Shamrocks place. And guess where Robbie still is? Still up here in the arms. Now come on, Robbie, and we'll let you off in a minute. Now he's okay. He's walking away. Smelling and sniffing. That's what he does best. Now oh, here he comes. Oh, goodbye, Rabbi. Yay! And away he goes. Smelling and sniffing away, isn't he? Little scamp. Come on, Rabbi. Yo! There's a good puppy. Yeah! Oh shit, there's a dog coming. We'd rather get out of the way. Come on now, Rabbi. We're swinging onto Vinegar Hill Lane now. And still he goes. Come on, Robbie. Yay. Come on, Robbie. Oh, yes, good boy. Yep, he's still traveling well, aren't you, Robbie? Here he comes again. Here he comes again. And away he goes up the hill. Getting near the top now. There's two or three more dogs there. Another fellow over there. Robbie. It's best you stay there, Robbie, for a few minutes till we get rid of those fellas. What do you think? So we're back down again on the ground and the dogs are gone. So he resumes his sniffing and whatever. Come on, Rob. That's the boy. Go for it. Go, go, go. There was an Irish shave up on Vinegar Hill there, but we've, we've managed to overcome that. Here he comes again. Yay! And away he goes. Down the other vinegar hill lane. Oh gosh, there's a car coming now. Hold on, Robbie, we better pick you up. And we'll have to put him back on the lead now shortly because they're coming to the end of the lane and we're back onto the road again. Yeah, look at that. Look at the way he's traveling. Isn't he a great young dog? Look at that, he's tearing to run. We're coming to the bend in the road down here now. Look at that for a great dog. And we're coming to the turn down to home at this stage. Oh, there's a car coming, Robbie. There's a car coming. He doesn't seem to mind cars at all. Ain't that just a great little dog? Oh Lord, Robbie, look at that fella. If he got at you, what would he not do? Go back. You don't mind that sort of old thing, sure you don't? No. Robbie is still pulling. Tearing to get away. Well, unfortunately, we're, we're near the cross here now. We're near home. 
Now we're nearly home. There goes Frank Cochran in his car. Not much else happening around here. Now we're just home. And Robbie is still choking himself here, pulling he is. To lift him over the kettle grid in case he gets some bad habits. Now, Robbie, down you go. Now off he goes on his own. Where are you going, Robbie? Out to the lawn there. Sniffing into that again. Here he comes now again. Yeah, we're home, Robbie. He wants to get in now. Who does that pawing the door remind you of? Would it be Brandy, what? Huh? Would it be Brandy, eh? Look at him pawing at the door. The little scamp. No, of course, he has the house and food. Oh, the boy is hungry. The dog is hungry, I should say. You going to drink some water, Robbie? He drank a little water a minute ago. So one happy dog, eh? Yeah, I think so. We're eating a bit of a chewy thing there we got earlier in the day. Seems to like him. <laughs>